all right what is going on guys today we are watching fate apocrypha episode five um you will be getting two episodes a week still but i have now decided to post one of them on tuesday and one of them on wednesday just kind of fills up my week a bit more and it also helps with kind of um, I don't know, just more discussion kind of things. Uh, and I can get, you know, I can focus more on one video for one day or one episode for one day and one episode for the other. Um, but you'll still, be, still be getting two episodes a week. Um, should that change maybe next season uh, if there is a new anime on certain days? I don't know. Either way, for the time being, two episodes, two episodes a week still, but Tuesday and Wednesday they will be now. Uh, what happened in the last episode? So in the last episode, we lost Siegfried, it looks like um and uh, as well as trying to think about what happened in episode four as opposed to episode three uh along with that we had Ryder kind of trying to save the homunculus the homunculi homunculus um obviously most likely in a lot of trouble now um uh but yeah Ast astolfo yeah sorry i said Ryder astolfo i suppose it doesn't matter um yeah seeing where it goes from here it was uh, sieg had some like really nice final moment it was really shocking to actually see that he died so early on in the story though um yeah hoping to see where it goes from here seeing where this kind of hom homunculus character goes as well now that he's been given seek's heart for whatever that means i'm not sure um but yeah as always guys so like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now Hey, what the fuck is this? The dragon? Wait. Whoa, what the... F what the fuck? I thought he was going to get a goddamn dragon as a... Seven then for a second. <laughs> Aw, that's dull <laughs> Damn, John. Couldn't let him hug him for like a few more seconds. Yeah, definitely not. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, but the hero had to die for it, though. Oh, shit. The whole family's here. Oh shit, they know. Damn. <laughs> this motherfucker's still passed out. That's hilarious. To be fair, that is crazy. Losing the Saber class so early in the battle. That's kind of embarrassing. Yes, let's go, John. Yeah, like, what happens when the Holy Grail was over and the servants leave? Does his heart leave? Well, now he's going to be generated to live, okay? Yes, sir. Along with uh, Astolfo as well. Astolfo risked it to save his life. Let's fucking go, John. You guys can't, you guys can't fight a ruler. That ain't happening. Well, maybe they can try, but she's just so stupidly powerful because she has so many command seal, uh, spells. It'd be a waste of time. Definitely. Along with the command spells. Yes, bro. I fuck with Astolfo. What a fucking go. Oh shit, what is he doing? What, are you gonna go and lock him up or something? Why is Vlad in charge? He's a Lancer servant. Why Why is this guy getting pushed around by him? Like, I'd get it if it was Gilgamesh, okay? You listen to Gilgamesh, but it's like fucking... It's Vlad the third. The fuck? Don't listen to him. Ah, that's also a cool character. I'm glad he's not just a meme. Seriously, though, what are they going to do? Lock him up? It's just going to be a waste of mana having him being locked up. 
She's like the purest. Most fair. Oh, is this Siegfried's sword or was this the sword that he was given before? So they lost Spartacus to them. But then they lost Siegfried. Kind of an equal swap, I guess. Damn, I was really looking forward to a fight between Siegfried and Kana. This dude's character design's badass. What the fuck is she doing? Can you fucking tell her, bro? Hell yes. Are you not just wasting your own mana by hurting the servant? Yeah, for how long though? Why is breathing gotten easier because he's got a new heart or? I was just about to say, his character design's a little plain, but then I realize he's a fucking clone. So, <laughs> I suppose character design doesn't actually matter. Is it like Ryder's actual sword, not like a spear? That's weird. Oh, yeah, bro needs a name. Yeah, once you get a name, you can really start to feel alive. Zeke? Oh, he's naming himself after... Oh, that's cute. That is a fine name. Lady Holy Maiden. <laughs> is this his, like, first time eating? Bro, imagine the first time eating. What are they, like, octopus balls or something? What are they? Wait, what are they doing? A release? What is that? Whoa. Oh, shit. So the one... The assassin of Team Red. Wow, okay. Or is it Team Black? Wait, what's going on? Wait, so she's supposed to be on... Where is she gone? She's supposed to be on Team Red, but... She doesn't want to be on either side. Yeah, but eating's nice, you know? Servants love to eat. Oh yeah, it's someone else's body. I forgot about that. Of course she needs to eat. Oh, that's good, at least. Oh, okay. <laughs> she consented to you taking over her body then. That's good. Yeah, definitely a lot of, a lot of abnormalities in this uh, Holy Grail war. That's true. It's like survivor's guilt. It's a little bit different, I suppose. Kind of the same with Siegfried, but maybe in regards to his clones too. But yeah, you just gotta live on. Oh. Yo. Let this man get a mission. Oh. Oh. I thought his mission was actually going to be go to save him then. <laughs> this guy, man. Sir, so I'm just a temp. Oh, is this a homunculus? I mean, she's spitting facts, bro. Correct. Not a good relationship. <laughs> she's freaking cute, man. Tell me before it blows up. That's funny. Sigishora. Oh, I like this. I like this music right now. That's very nice of him. Hello, my name's Sieg. Don't mind me, here's a sword. She is so good and I'm sweet. Smiling just needs to come naturally. He needs a reason to smile. 
I hope so. Not just tragedy. As does what fate does. Is she okay? Tatakai. I feel like she's going to miss him. You told a lie. What? Wait, what? Oh, shit. Alright, see you tomorrow, 9am. You're going to be in the war. So she's just giving him what little time is possible to give him a normal life. And she's trying her best to not make this come true. Alright, so that was Fate Apocrypha episode 5. Very cool little episode there. Um, not much kind of explaining as to whether this is going to be a permanent thing. Um, Sieg, Sieg, with his new name, uh, actually living on. Or whether it's going to be the case of what I was theorizing of that um, after the Grail War ends and when a servant would then disappear, would the heart disappear too? Or is this somehow melded with his body i don't know maybe with the amount of magical energy that is normally in a homunculus that gave it power to turn into a real heart i don't know um guess we'll find out i do really like the vibes of this the the, sh the series so far it's it feels it being 25 episodes as well it feels less battle intensive which you know it's not it's not so much of a bad thing we, we see a lot of battle good battles in fate um i'm more focused around the kind of fleshing out of characters and more lore, backstory, that kind of thing. More relationships, chemistry stuff, uh, which I think is going to be really cool. And I'm going to, I'm looking forward to getting to know all the characters. Um, Astolfo was like goated this episode, really cool character. And it's going to be nice to meet all the other ones or get to know all the other ones as well. But yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and I really did enjoy the episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.